the beginning of every journey is not easy and that once you embark on a journey you need to persevere to obtain the objective that you intend to uh, reach and that yes we've had a difficult year we've had a difficult year because of some factors beyond our control and we're doing everything we can to bring that under um, to, to bring that on a, a, a good path and then to use that as a platform to take off. I pledge to give the kind of leadership that will move this country to the next level and I'm sure that Afghanians can have patience and look towards the objective that we've all set ourselves. We would look back several years on and be proud of the distance that we have covered. In 2013, the government laid the groundwork for many developmental projects, including over 500 kilometers of roads and highways. This massive expansion will facilitate the transportation of goods and ease traffic congestion in urban areas and open up new markets in order to strengthen local economies. One of those projects is the Awashi Pokasi Road, which brings commuters from Iswum and the eastern region through Awoshi to the N1 highway. Personally, I live in the area. For the past 10 years, or how the roads were, I can talk about one, the health hazard it caused. The roads were very dusty when the, drive, when the cars are flying on the road. The dust emanating from the roads were very bad. It causes helpful hazards to us. And also our vehicles in the sense that Every week, one has to take the vehicle to the mechanic or to the workshop, and that is expensive. Somewhere, if you want to go to a place, that would take you 30 minutes because of the deplorable state of the road. It would take you close to an hour, and this was heartbreaking. Because of the very bad state of the roads, we had no portable drinking water, no telephones, and it was really serious. By the time the project is completed in the year 2015, the place would be a better place to live. In the sense that it would ease traffic because people or Ghanaians who wants to go to who want to go to in Sawom would use that road. It will cut down the traffic on the Ashimota Road. Those that want to go to Kumasi would also use our road, and it would open up the area. Uh, drinking water drink systems will be okay. There will be telephone lines, and everyone will be happy. Not only will it promote Ghana, but also the area because. With all these infrastructures coming to the area, it would grow the area and the area also would be a better place for all of us to enjoy. It has not been easy, but I believe that as time goes on, the place will be a safe haven for us and we will all enjoy the place. We need to diversify our economies. We cannot continue to survive on gold and cocoa alone in Ghana. Ghana produces a lot of gold, a lot of cocoa, and we are subject to the vagaries of the price on the international market. We need to develop our manufacturing base. We need to develop our service industries. We need to develop our agriculture and other things that make for a complete economy. Job creation is a priority because only through job creation can we bring our economy forward. This year, the government took many measures to create jobs, including the expansion of the Takra Port, which will create 3,000 jobs by allowing more ships to come through and providing more services for the oil and gas industry. This is just the beginning as more projects started this year, like the Takra Port, will create badly needed jobs in the years to come. It's a big opportunity for the country as it um, will improve um, trade and industry. It will also improve um, employment for the locals and other, of course, nationals in the country. Once we have the dredging and all the works um, executed, I think it will uh, increase or be maximized in a drastic way. And we are hoping after the success of this, people will get, um, the locals and other guys will get to work on this huge um, platform. I'm president now. I must fix the problems and I must create a vision for this country to move forward. And so I'm looking forward, I'm not looking backwards. We are restructuring the economy and putting in more discipline. We're changing the economy from a cash basis to an accrual basis, bringing more discipline into the budget. And I think that the effects of this will be felt you know, much later. This country has a potential to be great, and I am convinced and certain that this country would continue to lead the way in Africa.